It is a dark time for the adventurers. They may have finally met their match. After easy victories earlier in the dungeon, the giant slug and its goblin handler are teaching them a lesson or two. Will they defeat this slimy adversary, or will they fall in defeat? Find out as we begin to drink in dungeon. of damage. Warp, warp, warp. Oh man, guys. So, uh, Xyla takes an arrow to the butt cheek. Oh, oh, no. oh the cheek. Wait, and which, she just, wait, which one? Which <laughs> uh, she can pick which one. Left or right? Uh, left. Okay. Wait, so, so your right butt cheek is your favorite one? Yeah. Like, is that what Everybody has a favorite butt cheek. Come really? On. No, that's I've not my, spent enough that's time my with my own butt. That's my butt cheek where it sticks out and flexes. Okay. <laughs> I need that butt cheek. All right. Well, well. So you you took you took an arrow to the butt cheek and then you just go oh, face down into the ground. Yeah. And oh, I am now um, negative. Um, oh. Yep. And, and, and arrow it's your turn. Up. So uh, roll a check for stabilization. Oh, I can do that. Yes, to make sure that you don't lose another hit point. What do I have to roll? Uh, a uh, d20. I know, but like what number do I have to roll? Uh, I am looking that up right now. Because I always forget. Whoa! Uh, what'd you roll? Ten. Uh, no, that's not going to be enough. Did she get modifiers from the Bardic Song or no? Even with that, 11 is not going to... Um, Alright, so next up is... So does that mean uh, a negative 3 now? Yes. So death. Oh, man. All right, How so, negative uh, can somebody get before they're dead? Negative 10 is dead dead. Ah, okay. All right, so just so that way you guys can help me remember whenever this happens. Um, oh, you rolled an 11, didn't you? All right, so disabled. Uh, when you go below zero, um, a hero becomes disabled. They must succeed at a DC 12 fortitude check to stabilize. Oh, wait, but you, did you add your fort? What's your fortitude bonus? Zero. zero. <laughs> Still 11. <laughs> Um, so, you must succeed a DC 12 fortitude check to stabilize. After stabilized, they may try to succeed at a DC 14 uh, constitution check to see if you become mobile. So that would be one round you would do, you would become stabilized. The next round you'd roll again to see if you can become mobile. And if you become mobile, you could do one action per round after that, such as move at half speed, cast a spell, use a skill, or attack an adjacent creature uh, all at negative five to hit and damage. So basically, you're on your last leg, but you can still do stuff if you make those two saves. Right now, you're just gonna you're you're trying to stop bleeding from your butt, but like, I guess you're you're nervous. Got it. You're nervous. Yep. Your butt cheeks are flush. There's lots of blood pumping out. Mm. Um, so, anyways, while you're bleeding out, the giant, uh, uh, or not giant, but the bigger goblin is still just shouting in the background. Ah. Um, Ada, it is your turn. All right. Just, you know, she's all, she's tiny, so you, she is pretty easy to pick up. Okay. Yeah, let's get out of range of that slug. Can I shoot wild magic at the slug and drag eight or um, drag Xyla towards the exit? Wait, where is the exit? We dropped down. We there's did. A, there's a creek. It's, um, okay. it's, it's yeah. down on the map. The creek is down. Got it. Yeah, so it's right it there. See, look. So you guys are, are right at it. Okay. Um, I would say... Half All right, let's, let's make it interesting. If you want to cast wild magic, you can cast wild magic and grab Xyla and run for the creek, but you'd have to roll a heroic action versus the environment to do that. Or... You cannot cast a spell, and you can easily just grab Xyla without any roll and drag her into the creek. 
So how risky do you Go want it to be? for the heroic action. I, I'm going to try to hit this slug. You can stick with that same D20. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so roll on your range touch deck. <laughs> Eight plus one, right? Plus. Where do I see my... Your initiative? I'm losing that. No. What's, what's your ranged bonus? Range bonus. Like, do you have a short bow or anything? Uh, no. I mean, it's for so what's your wild dex, magic. So what's your dex bonus? Dex bonus is plus one. Okay, what's your base attack bonus? Attack bonus is zero. Okay, so this question is coming up a lot. Um, so I just want want to say it again so you guys sort of remember it. Melee attacks are your base attack bonus plus your strength bonus. And that's where your bonus for like a sword or an axe or anything okay. like that. Your ranged bonuses are your dex bonus plus your base attack bonus. Oh, okay. So if you're doing a ranged touch attack, that means that you're going against um, his AC uh, that's not including his deck. Or Got that's... It. in Range touches, it excludes armor, but it includes the dexterity because they can dodge away from your touch. Yeah. But so it's the same as shooting a bow for you. So you would add your plus one okay. for your dex. Okay. So you rolled a what? Eight. Eight plus one for your dex. Yes. Plus one from base tack or from bergamot. And then, do you have any other pluses? Was there? What about the pouch that you had? That was. Uh... That was just hit points, wasn't it? I think that was one, that was plus one, but I wasn't sure if it was range. I wrote it down on my quarter staff and things like that, but I didn't uh, count it for... I, I don't remember if it was base attack. We'll just say it's base attack, so I'll bring you up to ten, which is enough to hit the Gorgolug. Okay. Um, Oof. So then I roll a 1d4, three plus one is... Four plus one is five. So five points of damage. Yep. All right. Yeah. Um, so uh -huh. it it actually burns the tip of one of its little oh, acid spewers. Just the tip. Just the tip. Got it. <laughs> All right. And now, um, so uh, <laughs> so you're gonna have to roll heroic action, add your dex or strength, uh, and we'll say that the difficulty of this for the environment is um, we'll say it's tough. So just a 10. You have to roll above a 10 to grab her. Guys, this is killing me. 20! <laughs> ben, I, she I, handles I, me. Well, you know, I would just like to say, that little piece of paper <laughs> just saved you because I think I saw like a... It was like 18. A, oh, was it 18? It was I like thought it was like, 18 and then it was like an 20. 8 and then it rolled over to the 20. <laughs> no. All right, so um, Ada... It's, it's environment. So Ada it's blasts environment. the slug, uh, runs over, and just picks up Xyla, like, with the tip of her finger, <laughs> like, just hooks her in her collar and drags her Go across the ground. Me. Are you guys going into the water, oh, or man, are you... I remember this moment. <laughs> Where she heroically rescues me. While, <laughs> while you're running, um, I yelled out, is there any way you could climb up on the ledge? No. They were like, yeah. I think we remember they were more than six foot up. Well, plus you were already saying that you're going towards the water. Yeah. So there's no way to change that mid-action. But I am allowing you to say, so either you stop on the bank and then you have to make a move action next time to jump in. But with a 20, I'm going to say you could just loop her and then just head right into the water. We're going so wand we're, dive. Yeah, we're, we're jumping. All right. Uh, Bergamot, you see uh, the giant slug just get blasted with energy. And then, like, Xyla weighs nothing. Ada just hooks her, and then they're in the water, and they're gone. And you're like, wait, take me! Um, <laughs> I can't swim. <laughs> Seriously? No, no, no. Oh, gosh. Com oh, comedy. Plan was kind of good, good comedy timing there. That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> but the, uh, the bad thing is, is next up is the slug's turn. Oh. Uh, which goes full speed at Bergamot and slams into him. Um, and that is, uh, 12 plus 4 is 16. What's your AC? 16. 16. So he hits. Oh. 
scared of killing me. And it no, does you're gone. two points of damage. Oh. Alright, I'm at zero. Um Seriously, guys? <laughs> no, you're gone. You don't Seriously? get to say that now. You don't get to say that. You're gone. Oh, oh no. Man. You say what that as though, like, I'm making a bad decision. You just ran and dove in the creek. Oh, no. I mean, I, I, I was I'm going to follow adrenaline, you. adrenaline, okay? But, all this right. This is like the first natural Tony we've had in a so, long so time. So, just, just for story, just for story effort, we're going to say that Bergamot gets knocked back a bit when he's slammed. And roll a heroic action for me. 16 plus charisma, 19. All right. Um, you get hit back and you stumble, um, but you drop your battle axe and your horn. No! And as you're, as you're going down, you realize that you can either fall back into the water and be swept away or you can fall down and grab hold of your prized horn horn oh, and your no. weapon which one do you want to do got oh, 5 seconds to decide no. one, oh two, three, uh, four. i think i want and, my stuff <gasps> i mean it's all right Seriously? It's who I am. all right oh, you're and so bergamot God. goes down all right, oh, uh, a shot <laughs> to what may be the late great oh. Bergamot Commodore. <laughs> it was nice knowing yeah. you. I would, Lila would tell you it was nice knowing you, but she's a little yeah. Down and out you guys right are now. both down and out, and yep. there's me again. <sighs> All right, so. Uh, the party has been split in the worst way possible. Um, <laughs> Zyla, Ada, um, oh Zyla, you don't remember this at all, but Ada, you basically hold on to Zyla for dear life, and you just are just, you're in an underground stream. So mm. you go under, you come up, you gasp for air, you're back down again. Um, and you pop out rather quickly into the forest, but the creek is moving quick enough that you just sort of let it carry you down for a while. And you pull yourself out of the water and you pull Zyla up. Um, do you want to heal her? Because uh, she's out. Like, she's... Do you have any more mana I've left? Got or one more mana left, but um, I can also... I've got my talent of healing, where it says you can take a round to, round to bind an injury. Target, target gains plus one hit point. During rest, a healer can use their abilities to allow characters to gain back double normal hit points. I mean, I'm not going to be doing anything else this round, so it makes sense for me to use that. Right. Instead of so it'd give her one hit point, so it'd wake her back up. Yeah, no, she's at negative three, so all that I keep her unconscious. So your heal would have a chance to. But that would be my last mana. <sighs> I guess I'll have to heal her with like using the spell. How long does it take for mana to come back? Resting eight hours, right? Mm -hmm. so yeah. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna heal Zyla because she's in the negatives. Can you um, use med kits? Use what? No, there, you guys don't actually have any healing salt. Well, I've got a healing potion. kit. Yeah, I've got a healing kit or two. Yeah, I mean, healing. Other so um, healing kits um, do the same like as the healing talent, but they're a one use. Oh. So. Um, they're worthless. Okay. Well, not worthless. I mean, they help. They're worthless. Like when you're, <laughs> they're worthless right now. Let's say yes. that. Yes. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna heal. So um, I just do a one d eight. Three plus one. So four. That puts you at one. One. I'm awake. Right? Am I like roused awake by what she's just done? Yes. I only have one hit point, so I'm. Um, so, so Zyla, you come to, you guys are on the the bank of this creek, you're muddy, you don't know exactly how far you. you I was well, a human actually, boat. You, you can see. Thank you so much for <laughs> literally taking you down this river. You can Where's see Bergamot? the uh, the tower, but you're, you're further down, and yes. 
Bergamot does not come out from the creek behind you guys. Um, what Alright, so we'll, uh, if this is a movie, like, fade screen, you guys don't really hear this. Uh, Bergamot. <laughs> uh, you come to with some awful liquid being poured down your throat. Um, that Sorry, I'm not burns, here. that burns, but like, like you wake up gasping and then they stop. Um, and you, you immediately can tell that you have been bound and from the chilliness, it also feels like you've been stripped down. Mm. Um, uh, and there, there's creatures all about you, like jostling you around and like shouting words at you that you can't understand. Um. But there is one good thing. You're alive. For now. Am, am I able to, like, wriggle and, and think thoughts to myself? You can, you can think and, and you can wiggle. And actually, um, the minute that you come to and you start breathing and, like, like showing that you're uh, there, uh, a dirty cloth is shoved down your mouth Ugh. and then it's tied off um, so you can't speak. But, um... But so, uh, just just for my own amusement, uh, I want to um, uh, make that um, that dirty cloth taste like some delicious <laughs> candy, so that at least like I have a little bit of inner zen going. Uh, I'm using a minor trick, and uh, I just I don't. I need something. I'm in a, I'm in yes. a bad place right now. You, you is, are in a bad place. What it takes. It so, like <laughs> so well, if it was I mean, going to I mean, be, I guess that is some said, comfort. Before you said the rag, I was already thinking of this because I was like, "Ooh, boiling liquid! I could make it taste like hot candy." But it'll just be like a candy rag. I'll just be like, mm. "Candy." Oh, okay, so you're not doing butter? Because I was gonna say, I thought of like, butter. A butter rag would sort of be I gross. I thought of butter, but I thought that's not as soothing as like a <laughs> lozenge. Like it's like in my mind, as bad as everything else is, that rag is actually like a nice, pleasant butter scotch. <laughs> I'm not here right now. Nope, you're, right. you're down the creek in the, in the woods. Oh. All right. I have um, to find my inner place so I don't, like, go crazy. This is what you do when you're in traumatic situations. But you're using a mana for that? Zero. Oh, okay. It's worth it. I'm okay. a prisoner. Like, what else would I do? All right, so, um... All right. I move the map back to the outside. Um, Wait, let me find this. I'm moving you guys down by the river where you are recovering. Um, so I guess we will move out of sort of combat and we'll talk about, like, um, I, I know Bergamot, you don't have much to do, um, but you could, you know, uh, you could either be complacent and try to figure out what's happening or you could try to struggle um, but we'll get to that in just a moment because uh, I want to see what they want to do so that he hasn't come out now you have no idea what's going on you didn't hear about the candy rag at all uh, how long has it been uh, just just moments that you guys have like come to um, so uh, what what do you guys want to do like I mean you're low on mana. You're hurt, uh, and you're missing one of one of the party. I feel like as much as we wanna, as much as Zyla wants to go back and find Bergamot and try to complete our mission, we just can't right now because we're just too worse for wear at the moment. Like I feel like we, at least I, Zyla, I have to rest. Like, I wonder I, if we can like run into the um, uh, the elves, the elves that we ran into in the Kelnor Forest. I wonder if we can try to like recruit, like contact them somehow. Um, do, you, do we have I, those rations? Yeah, we still like I've got the elven portions and wine. So, um, am I able to use my talent of healing now? It, like it says, use a round, but it, if we're not doing rounds, I can't use it. Or um, so like, because if I, I may as well be healing, like you know, while we're sitting there trying to heal her, but I don't know how often I can use that. So it's it the you can take a round, uh, 
during combat. Okay. But I can't use it. After now. that, then it goes into the rest where um, you can use your abilities. So so during rest, you can you can okay. now do that. But okay, I mean, I feel like we should rest, but I also kind of want to try to find those elves. Um, so uh, Bergamot, uh, let's switch back to you. So. Um, how do you want to go about this? Do you want to try to figure out what's happening? Like, you know, so the idea is either if you're struggling and trying to get out of this, they're going to be manhandling you or goblin handling you or mm. fawn handling you. I don't know. Uh, it's strange. You have so many different. Fondling? Huh? <laughs> fawn, 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 fondling. Oh, fondling. Yeah. Perfect. Um, so if you're, if you're trying to struggle, um, we, we might see like if you could maybe get free or or I don't know or you could like sort of just like zen in on your candy rag and just pay attention to what oh, what they're God. doing and maybe figure out where they're taking you you don't know anything about candy. that might help you <laughs> I'm out I'm trying not to know anything <laughs> um so so which which do you want to do do you want to pay attention to what what they're doing or do you want to try to struggle it would come natural for Bergamot to try and use charisma or charm or in some way get out of this. However, fully aware that there is no communication with these guys. Um, uh, I, I guess trying to understand, like, um, do I even know where I am? Like, I don't, like, before I can make a decision if I'm trying to escape or anything, like, like, uh, could, could you describe my surroundings? All right, well, you, you've got a blindfold on, so let's oh, roll. I thought, it was um, a, I thought it was a gag. Well, no, you had a blindfold on, and then they, they're pouring the liquid down your throat. When you came to, then they gagged okay. you. Okay. And you're bound. Um, so let's do uh, an awareness check, and, and you can sort of figure out. They're going to leave you for the slug. Uh, 13, and then there's no... Um, there's no modifiers for that, right? Uh, your awareness is a skill. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, 17. 17? All right. Um, so, uh, it is still... You're, you're in, a, in a cool area. It's very cool still. Um, you can hear the creek, and the ground underneath you is soft. So, like, you can dig your heels in and feel that you're still in dirt. Am I... Um, tied to any structure or am no. I just bound? You're bound and, and there's at least two pairs of hands like holding you to the ground. Oh, okay, okay. Um, trying to think if there's any other information that I could figure out how to glean before I do anything. Like, I mean, the thing is, is like, like, so at this point, like, you can either try to wrestle your way out, or you can just, like, if you tell me that you're just going to take in your surroundings, we'll go through sort of what's happening, and you'll keep doing awareness checks to figure out what you think is going on around you. Well, okay, uh, putting it out there, um, if I hear the creek, and I feel the moisture um, on, you know, in the air and, and the coolness and everything, then I guess... Is there maybe could I do one more check to try and give? Obviously, it'll still be based on the numbers, but to figure out, you know, like I feel like if I if I have one move that I could make, I would want to spring. If I'm not bound to anything, I would want to spring and dive in the creek uh, because my legs are not bound, even if my hands are bound, which I think you said they were. Um. Because then, like, my, my knowledge is even if I get in the creek, like, I can swim and kick up to the surface or something and get away. Uh, but that's, but that's also, I don't know if I'm still at zero, if I'm still completely unable to move. You're also blindfolded. No, um, actually, uh, you're now at one hit point. Whatever that liquid was they forced down your throat brought you to <clears throat> and gave you at least one hit point. So, so you have the ability to move now. Um... And uh, also with that awareness check, I'll let you know. So there's two hands holding you down, but there's way more than that discussing stuff around you okay. in different voices. So um, could you struggle out and maybe make it towards the creek? Maybe with one heck of a heroic action. But 
Yeah, I mean, at this point, like, you know, I gotta be honest with myself. There's no reason they're gonna be nice to me. We've already come in and killed their chef. I mean, really. Like, <laughs> We know that everything in this world is based off of food. You're gonna end up in that cauldron. Mm, I'm way too furry. They don't, they probably wanna care about that. They were eating rats, like. Uh, so, I mean, I feel like if I'm gonna take one action right now, it should be a heroic action to spring to my feet and blindly run towards the creek. Because if nothing else, I have this thought in my mind that I was at least slightly aware of how quickly it took you two away. So I know that if nothing else, it will take me away. I will probably have a pretty rough time trying to stay afloat during all of that, but... Can he inspire courage on himself? I have a gag. <laughs> yeah. I can if I... <laughs> you could hug. I can if I didn't have a gag mm. in my mouth. Uh. No, that's why Mike put the gag in. Uh. Um, Alright, so is that just take the most heroic action ever? Yep, so um, we're going to use uh, their dex against you, um, which is, their dex is 16, so plus 3 on their roll to try to stop you. And I'm just going to let just one heroic action versus yours. I assume you're going to use your dex as well, because that's pretty high, right? Um, I was probably going to use um, what you told me to use before on heroic action, which was charisma. But, but no, I guess it would need to be dex. Yeah, yeah. it would be dex or strength. Uh, I don't have any for either. <laughs> Alright, it's just a straight roll. Let's see what happens. Sixteen. Let's see, they had a, what, plus three? So that's uh, plus three to thirteen is sixteen. Um, what happens with the tie? They're supposed what? to take it because they... No, have... no, I, it's always the, like on an attacker, if you match AC then you win. So I'd say that the the person trying the heroic action would win out on that. Um, so, but, because you're bound and in a cavern, uh, you're going to have to do one more awareness check to make sure that you make it towards what did you the stream. The I'm going to hit my head it'd on be, the low heavy stalactite. So this is going to be awareness versus environment. It's going to be challenging, so you have to roll over a 15. I'm, so, I d20 watch. plus your awareness. Oh, I can't watch. Seventeen. Alright, so, uh, Bergamot, you pop up knocking the goblins off you and just start running. And, uh... He starts doing the noodle, right? No, like, uh, like, a, like a bound gimp, just running blindly into the night. And then, uh, I, I'm just imagining in, in true bergamot fashion, as you're running, it, uh, the uh, gag pops out of your mouth because I'm, I'm just assuming that they didn't stuff enough rag in there to, to fill up your whole <laughs> mouth. <laughs> and it pops out. It and then you say, you say, take that, mother fathers. And you jump up in the air like a salmon finding its way home <laughs> and land in the water. And by the way, you are so excited when you actually hit the water because you're thinking midair. You're like, if I don't hit water, this is gonna be really sad. And you hit the water, and you are out. You just flow right out. Um, and now you guys are like, where's Bergamot? What are we gonna do? And then you guys see something that maybe you'd never hoped that you would see, but a waterlogged. Furry, bound, oh. naked fawn, oh. just being washed down the creek. We've got to reach in and grab him. Like he's oh. just gonna, fl he's gonna keep going. Oh yeah, yeah. Because all he's doing, he's just, he's right. just half we, singing, half cursing as he's going when down the river. Grab him? Here. Do we have to roll something? Or we're just um, I would grab say him? both of you do a heroic action versus the environment. There is still a lingering taste of butterscotch in my mouth after all of this. Is there what? Is there a modifier for this? Oh. Um, Dex or strength. So, um, I got a 12. 8 is 12. 12? 5. 5. So you guys jump in the water and he just slides right past <laughs> you. And just keeps cursing and singing on his way down. No. There, You feel something else grab you and it's, you're pretty sure it's them. Um, but the, the I don't good, know that I would really know it was them. 
the You're good so news is, is so the creek yeah. the creek gets shallow soon and you just sort of like roll up like a log and you're just sitting there bound up just sitting in the water it washing mm. over you um <laughs> what took you so long the water's very calming <laughs> oh gosh what happened to you so we're gonna run Who's down that? there the Zyla. <laughs> hey baby how you doing <laughs> Should we take his blindfold I've got a water skin that we <laughs> could possibly wear. A water skin? You gotta split open a water skin and like give him what? I have a, a blanket. A water skin thong? I have a blanket. Okay, give him a blanket. Yeah, you can have my blanket. Right, I'm gonna reach over here and steal a worm because... <laughs> I'm trying to recover from... Candy gag? Coming up with a, a story about a naked fawn. Just, just oh, I also, have, candy also candy have an empty sack. <laughs> Yeah. I could give you my empty sack instead. <laughs> you okay. like, I, I can think of ways okay. for so your guys, empty sack. So guys, let's try to find somewhere safe. Let's go and rest and I can use healing where yes. you guys get double back normal hit points. So, I feel like we should just try to, you know, find somewhere safe. What do you guys think? Yes, yes, please. Okay. So. Alright, so you guys are in a forest. Uh-huh. And just imagine you're out in a forest with no trails. Can we see the tower, the castle tower? I mean, you can as long as you want to, or okay. you can move away from it. I'm getting away. Because they'll probably it. come out looking for you guys. I'm getting away from it. So but there, are, there. Are, what do you consider safe? There might be other towers around here, right? Because I mean, if they're all built along the the border, maybe we should go check out another tower. Okay. After, after we rest. Yes. <laughs> Good idea. Good idea. Am I still blindfolded? <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I think you're unblindfolded. I, actually, now you're just we, wearing we a sack. take the blindfold yeah. off. Or a sack and, we, and a water skin. We, because I, I just love that imagery. Unless you want to wear a sack and then you want to put the blanket around your... your I, shoulders. I actually... Uh, I, I'm I just want, a toga, baby. I want... Someone please mail us a water skin and we'll split it open. Then you'll have to do a costume photo yes. shoot as Bergamot yes. wearing a water that's, skin. That's going to be my booth costume for working it for now on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys tell me can what... We, can we remove the blindfold and gag him again? <laughs> okay, so we rest? Yes. But, I mean, you, you guys said rest somewhere safe, and that's what I'm saying. You're in a forest. How do we find somewhere safe? I feel no, like No, what do you what would you guys consider do a safe? Check or something? I would consider going up into the trees. Somewhere um, where there's not going to be goblins. Um, I'm going to do Let's go I'm going to do a check to see how it looks where we are right now. Uh 16 uh 20. Oh, <laughs> All right, so um uh, the description of the past there's a lot of trees here, but there there's some very big uh, I think they're called uh ergen trees which are like sort of the elf trees. and I okay. mean, they're like redwoods, but their bark is very strange. Um, so there's some very tall trees. Uh, there's some like scrublings that are trying to make their way up. Uh, there's some pretty big ferns. Um, so yeah, you guys could try to climb up in the trees. Uh, though, if you remember, the first they're goblins you ran spiders. into... They're goblin spiders. Yeah, you guys they're ran spider into them up there. Wait. Yeah. Goblin spiders well, with, or spider goblins? With a check of 20, would I be able to tell whether there are or are not is or is not evidence of those uh, g spider goblins? Well, I mean, this is their area. They've been roaming throughout here, so you guys would see tracks here and there. How far are um, we from Vix? Uh, <laughs> we're way six days. Yeah, yeah we're way too far for now. Dang it! So what if one of us climbs up into the tree like me, and I do like a a look about and see if I can see anything. I mean, the thing is, is, is where do you consider, I mean, I, I'm just asking like, do you guys want to try to hunker down like in a root ball somewhere or do you yeah, want to try to go up in the trees? I would, I feel like we could get more cover hiding, um, you know, under mm -hmm. like a fallen tree or yeah. if these trees are big enough, you know, there might even be like a hollowed out cavity in the tree. I know we've had bad luck up in the trees with those guys because they seem to be up on the branches but if we're inside of some sort of enclosure like a yeah. cave or under a bush if we could just find something to where we can at least attempt to rest for a little while to get some hit points back and then let's journey out and, and you know 
We can uh, whittle down a sharp stick for me. Oh my gosh. You just now realize that? I mean, I picked up um, that uh, bow from one of the one of the original spider goblins. Well, and did anyone I'm get the cleaver from the chef, or did you guys leave I it? I thought about it, and I did not. No, nobody grabbed that. Nobody did it. I thought about picking it up and throwing it, but I was too busy carrying <laughs> this one out of the room. So Has anybody oh. searched for tracks, or did we say that was a general, like... Yeah, I was just checking. Yeah, Look, I did everywhere. I did a surrounding check to see like how the trees and everything were. Why don't you do a check for like uh, whether there's any other spider goblins around? I should do that. Well, so so I'm just saying in general, even without a check, um, you guys are seeing tracks here and there. These things have been raiding farms for like 30 miles and this yeah. is their in this hub. area. Yeah, and the hub is what seems I to be the tower. I say that we I say that we should all rest. Um, we have to I'll, find a safe spot. Yeah, we'll find like a spot that's, you know, not up in the trees, but lower down, take turns resting. I've got f four hit points right now, so I'll take first watch. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to heal whoever's lowest in eight, um, hit points. I'm going to make one suggestion before or we um, before we commit to anything at this spot. I'm going to say, let's do our best. We already know that this area seems to be as safe as can be for this area. But let's do our best to uh, scrub our prints as though we didn't get out of the creek right here. Like yeah. let's let's mm -hmm. let's go down the creek a little more. Let's make a big area down creek that looks like that's where we got out, and then let's double back okay. and stay here. Okay. So that we've done our very best to conceal our tracks. In theory, that buys us a little more time because the odds are some people might be coming out of the tower to look for us. They know which way we went. All right, so uh, you guys uh, do that. You guys find a, a large tree that's fallen over that gives you like a little alcove underneath to sleep under. While you're doing all this, it's just it starts raining and it's pouring down on you guys, which makes it all the more miserable. But that's good. This though. also would help hide your tracks or sounds. But the one thing it doesn't hide is throughout the night, as you guys are trying to rest is horns throughout the woods in all different directions as if they're sending messages to each other.